Hello, good people of God. Today we are going to go through the book of Proverbs. And we'll go through the background of the book of Proverbs and the writers of the book of Proverbs. So we mainly know that the book of Proverbs was written by King Solomon. But there are other writers who are also involved in the writing of the book of Proverbs. So first thing, we're going to look into the background of the book of Proverbs. Focusing on King Solomon, since he's the main writer of the book of Proverbs. So, from the book of Proverbs, we find the in depth knowledge about King Solomon in another book called Kings or the Kings of Israel. So, in the book of Kings of Israel, that's where we find the history or the story of King Solomon, the son of King David. King David reigned over Israel for for many years, and then he had a son with Bathsheba. We know of the story of King David and Bathsheba. So King David and Bathsheba gave birth to a son, King Solomon. King Solomon who succeeded King David in reigning over Israel. So in his death, King David appointed King Solomon to be king. We find this in First Kings chapter 1 from verse 28 going on. We'll find the story of King Solomon. And then King Solomon himself reigned over Israel for 40 years. He was the wisest man to ever live and the wealthiest man to ever live. According to the recording of the Bible, there is no man who has lived who was as wealthy and as wise as he was. And there will be no man after him who will be as wealthy and as wise as King Solomon was. And during the reign of King Solomon, over those 40 years, there was peace over Israel. Now let us continue looking into the book and the authorship of the book. So who were the authors or who are the authors of the book of Proverbs? The book of Proverbs was written by King Solomon mainly. But there are few verses or few Proverbs which were written by other people. And we find that there is a proverb of Agar, son of Jacketh, and the proverbs of King Lamiel, and the sayings of the wise, or the 30 sayings of the wise. All of the sayings recorded and written were written by King Solomon, apart from a few proverbs. And what does this mean? This means that the Bible, before it was not chapters and verses, it was just a whole book or it was a chronicle or it was different kinds of scriptures or different kinds of scripts which were recorded. And then later on, for navigation purposes, for us to be able to navigate through the Bible, verses and chapters and page numbers and all of these things were placed in the Bible so that we'll be able to easily navigate through the Bible, same as in the book of Proverbs. So you find that the whole book of Proverbs was written by King Solomon, apart from these uh, Proverbs, the Proverbs from Proverbs 22 from verse 17 to 24, that was not uh, written by King Solomon. It was recorded as the sayings of the wise. And then Proverbs 30 was written by Aga, son of Jacketh. And then Proverbs 31 also was written by King Lamiel, um, or the, the sayings of King Lamiel. When you look into the writing styles of these books, you will be able to see the difference on how King Solomon writes his books and how these other Proverbs were written. Now let's continue to look into the book of Proverbs itself. So, the book of Proverbs chapter 10, Proverbs chapter 10 was the book that was written by King Solomon in King Solomon's style or in King Solomon's narrative style. And we find that King Solomon has written this book uh, of Proverbs or his Proverbs were written in the spectrum of two. It was either good or bad. It was either the fear of the Lord or those who did not fear the Lord. So, you find that there's more mentions of the folly, the foolish, the fool, the wicked, the sluggard poverty, ruin. These are associated with all of that, that it does not come with God. And we also find all of this in uh, the book of Proverbs chapter 10. And then when you look on the other side of the spectrum, you find that there's the wise, the righteous, the diligent, the rich, and the wealthy. This shows uh, the two differences of the fear of God 
and the lack of the fear of God and the things that come out of that. And then that's what we also find when we look into each and every proverb that is mentioned in the book of Proverbs 10. And by removing the chapters and the verses, um, Proverbs 10 goes from Proverbs 10 to chapter 1 to verse 22, verse 16. That's where from verse 17 going on in chapter 22, that's where we find the sayings of the wise. So it was a whole Proverbs or it was a collection of Proverbs from chapter 10 up until chapter 22. From verse from chapter 1 to chapter 10, it was the Proverbs of King Solomon, even the other books in the book of Proverbs, apart from chapter 22, chapter 30, and chapter 31. Uh, but here we're just focusing on Proverbs chapter 10. We'll do a discussion or a more in-depth discussion of each and every proverb that is mentioned in chapter 10. We'll go through each and every proverb in the next video. But for now, that's what I just needed to give a background of the book of Proverbs and the book of Proverbs chapter 10 and the authorship of the whole book of Proverbs. So thank you until we see each other on the next video. Thank you.